Hi friend, I'm Jitendra Bhatna. Today we will going to walk through the AnyPoint Studio and AnyPoint Platform. The first thing we will walk through AnyPoint Platform. So I will going to show you various things related to AnyPoint Platform. So we have to log in to AnyPoint.MuleSoft.com. Okay, let uh, just wait. It get logged in. Let me. You have to provide your any point platform username. Okay. We will going to see a lot of things. So this is how our main page for any point platform looks like. So like here exchange, API management, access manager, runtime manager, data gateway. Even here you can see like exchange, exchange runtime manager, API manager, like access manager, all these things. So you can see it here also, you can see it here also. So, okay. so first thing we will go, we will check uh, API manager. So like what is use of API manager? Like if you want to create your RAML, uh, if you want to create a RAML based API, okay, if, and you want to pub publish those API over the portal, and if you want to create a gateway proxy, so you can use this API manager. So basically what you have to do, so if you want to add new API, you simply click on API name, version name, API endpoint, and description. So it will help you in creating a new API. Okay, so I have already some API already created. So version 1.0. Okay, this is uh, various things using API definition. So if if you have an if this is already existing area, that's why you are saying add it in the API detail. Otherwise, you see you may see create an API new API like that. Okay, so in my case, it's add it new. So you can see like you this is the ID for designing your API Rama this API. And here you can see whatever code you are writing here, uh, RAML code. So you can see a document has been generated on the right hand side. And even you can see the name of your RAML file. It's uh, on the left hand side of your ID. So even you can save it, rename. If you want to delete your RAML, you can do that. Okay. So I will go back. Uh, suppose create new portal okay if you want to create a portal for your uh, whatever ramal you have designed you can do it from here i already have a portal created for same so let me take you through the code i will take say view live portal this is my portal where you can see like api references everything see what are the methods available in api all those things okay let me go back i'll go back i'll go back and from here you can configure your endpoint suppose you have already one application it has been deployed to the runtime manager cloud up so if you want to create a proxy application on the top of it, you can do it from this from here. Fine. Now we will go to the exchange. Okay, this is the hub. Basically, hub where you can find various things like connectors, RAML. Okay, your API, everything, see, template, example, and other. You can find a lot of things here. Even whatever, if you develop new connector or anything, so you can publish here also. You have to simply say add new item. If you have a connector, you can click on the connector. If you have anything, anything, a template, example, or other. I will say REST API. So, like, you can name the item name, item ID. If you have any YouTube viewer, you can paste it here. You can add the version. Right. And once you save new item, and finally, you, uh, once you save, it will take it to other page from where you can publish your RAML or connect anything to the exchange. So, exchange is a basically a repository for your 
mule uh, connectors, template, APIs, and many other things. Now I will go to the axis management. Okay, from access manager you can provide the roles. Okay, roles to the roles, whatever you can add the users. Okay, and many other things like uh, you can see your subscription for what is your subscription level. Okay, V code 0 0.3 for me. Uh, any VPC is available, zero. Anything like what are listed, anything. A runtime manager, what is your default region, everything. It's a just test training account, so you cannot find a lot of things. Uh, you can add the user, you can invite the users, you can add the users here, environment, water type of environments available in your uh, any point platform, everything you can see, audit logs, okay. audit logs like what you are doing, so if you publish anything you are downloading, everything will be audited here, in last one, if you see, last one month, whatever I am doing, like any logging, if I or downloading anything so you can see it here fine so let me go to important thing which we will going to use mostly a runtime manager a runtime manager where you can see your deployed application runtime manager is basically used to execute to deploy to manage your new applications so this is all your this is all my application has been deployed here okay and let me create on one application find you can see a lot of things for the application this is application data like how many requests come all those things uh, one message everything you can see it here you can see the logs about the application for particular application okay you can see any queues in the application you can see insight related to application to any insight for me it's disabled right now i will go to setting so this is from where you can you know deploy update your application you can change the runtime version, you can change the worker size, you can change the workers. Here you can see all the properties, insights, login, static IPs, and all those things. Okay, and this is the, you know, like just a brief walkthrough of your uh, AnyPoint platform. Now I will show you the AnyPoint Studio. This is our AnyPoint Studio. This is your Packet Explorer, Explorer where you can see all the list of applications you have. This is a mule palette where you know you can see connectors. This is a connector. You can see various scopes. You can see components with transformers, filters, flow control, error handling, and security. Right? Okay. And if you want to create a new application file in the AnyPoint Studio file, new mule project, you simply click on new project. So various options are if you want to create a Java project, if you want anything. RAML API definition if you want to M in test cases there are a lot of things available so you can do whatever you want to if you want to deploy your application into the cloud or on premises simply right click you can say any point platform okay so for deploy to cloud so it will deploy application to your cloud hub so if you deploy to mule management console so it will deploy application to the mule management console you can connect to the API manager like if you want to install any new softwares so you can go to help install new softwares so you, you, okay you can install it from available list if not available if you have a url suppose if you want to install any enterprise security or anything you can provide the url you can find a lot of url in the middle of document you can just name it anything that doesn't matter main thing like this is important the url from where you have to install your artifacts Fine. and there is one more thing like preferences I want to show the preferences so in preferences like any point studio we have a lot of things any point platform APIs what is the like API platform accounts everything connectors the main thing maven like if you want to configure your maven you can do it here if, if you want to test it for me it will fail or it may success not that's it But if you want, like if your Maven is correct or correctly configured, you can take it here. See, 
j equals fine for me fine okay and i will show the project structure so you can see the source app main app where you can see your all the xml configuration that actually these are the flows you can see the properties file main you can all source main java under which under that you can keep your java code uh, source main resource you can keep some properties file inside that if any WSL you can keep under this any test file under the source test java then it whatever m unit test you are going to create you can find in under source test m unit fine and like you can see various thing like uh, whatever dls jar uh, file required for connector uh, mule server jar file okay whatever whatever dependency you require for the application you can see under all those things gre system library object or anything okay okay I, uh, this is you know like a short demo about any point fleet form and any point studio okay thanks for watching uh, video okay let me